Welcome to Lilac Writer. This is a little different screencast for us because I'm going to give you some tips for Pro Tools. Pro Tools is obviously a very popular recording system and if you're using it for songwriting there's some things that you can uh, do to speed up editing in Pro Tools that might not be obvious at first glance. So this screencast we're going to talk about keyboard focus. You enable keyboard focus right here with this um, A to Z icon. Once you've done that, a lot of your editing commands become one key presses with your left hand on the keyboard. So if I go in here and hit B, now I have uh, B breaks, I guess. It's like a split. I can break up the waveform, which is an extremely common thing you do in editing. Uh, note, I have the Smart Tool enabled. The Smart Tool in Pro Tools combines these three tools together. So the bottom half becomes a grabber, the top half becomes the Select Tool. And um, so I'm going to just undo this a second. So that's one thing. B command or the B key, select, B, break, undo. I'll undo that again. Now you can also swipe that with the selector tool and break that way. So if I swipe, hit B, I've now separated that region and I can pull it out of there, undo. So that's the B command. Another interesting thing is that the common cut, copy, and paste commands from any application are command C, X, and V, commands, command C. This is on the Mac, on the PC, of course, that would be control C, control V, control X. And X, control X, or command X, is cut. Now with keyboard focus on, I don't have to hit another key. I just hit X directly. So. Same thing with copy. So if I wanted to copy this section, I just hit C, move my insert point there and hit V. And I can do it again here. And um, as you can see, <laughs> that's a lot faster than trying to do multiple key combinations. The next area I want to talk about with keyboard focus is uh, zoom levels. R is a zoom out and T is zoom in with keyboard focus. Again, all of these commands are right near where your left hand would be. So that's R and T. T goes up and um, R goes down. Now, not related to keyboard focus because I think these commands work anytime the first four function keys, F1, F2, F3, and F4, affect the settings for the uh, edit mode. And the most common modes that I use would be slip mode and grid mode. Grid mode allows you to snap to the beat or to a bar, and slip mode allows you to move freely. I actually label these on my keyboard F2 and F4 so I can easily get to them. Uh, next I want to talk about the zoom presets. These numbers represent five levels of zoom preset. In keyboard focus mode these are mapped directly to the number keys on the top row of the normal part of the keyboard by your left hand again. So if I press 1, number 1, I'm at the first level two you can see is a different level three and four and five so I'm basically just pressing those keys on the keyboard it does exactly the same thing as clicking them here with the mouse pointer because it's exactly the same thing but the handy thing with this is with these five levels of zoom I can save most of the zooming that I would normally do by dragging these around or maybe going zooming in and out with R and T. So my zoom level 
three winds up zooming me into an area where I can you know, easily edit or rearrange. By zoom level five, I'm almost up to the sample level for more detailed editing. And of course, once I get there, I can always go in, you know, I can, I can always go in with more magnification by hitting T. Okay, so how do you set these up? They do default to a, a setting, but even while you're working on a project, you might want to uh, tweak those settings a little bit, and it's very easy. Basically, just get it where you like the look. I'm now on level two. So if I click level two, that's where I'm at. Now, say I wanted level two to be a little bit bigger. I'll zoom in and then press and hold down the two, or click and hold, and then save preset. There's a key command for that if you want to look that up. I don't know what it is because I just think of it as a car radio where if I want to change a preset, I just basically push in on it and it pulls up this little menu and I can click save. So I just made a couple of changes. So as you're working on your project, you don't have to keep them exactly the same. If you keep zooming in and you want to get a much finer level, then maybe um, maybe you need to get you know way down in here like this. Um, you can just save that as your preset, and now you can jump from here all the way into here by just hitting going from one to five. So I find that very a very helpful addition to keyboard focus. Now I went over. Um, quite a few commands and I think they're pretty straightforward and there are quite a few more and if you want to remember how keyboard focus works or find the guide for this you can go into keyboard shortcuts and then in here if you just type in the word focus I found that that will that search will take you right to this section which is about two pages long long which gives you the commands for keyboard focus mode. And you can see here zoom uh, presets one through five that we just talked about on the QWERTY part of the keyboard. And there is quite a few that I didn't go over. I just talked about the ones that um, I commonly use. And that's it for keyboard focus. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.